All right, Mac nerds, need your help. <clears throat> um, sorry about the background noise. I've got the dishwasher going right now. Here's a scenario. I bought this MacBook Pro 13 inch in uh, October, later end of October 2009. It's now February. Um, it shipped with a 160 gig hard, gigabyte hard drive. I did that on purpose because I didn't want to pay the Apple price for the larger hard drive. So I, I had a stack of Western digital drives and a few others at home that I thought I could install that were 320 gigs. Um, when I got the computer, I ran it for about three or four days with a 160 gigabyte hard drive in it, filled it up, and then figured I, I should put new hard drive in it. So I went and got one of my hard drives from my other MacBook Pros, I've got two others, and I pulled a 320 gigabyte Western Digital out and tried to install it. Couldn't get it to initialize, couldn't get it to work, couldn't get the format, couldn't get it to do anything. Um, it was plain and simply just not compatible with this, this machine. Um, I read that it was not an isolated incident after looking at a few blogs online. So um, I did the second best thing, or probably the worst thing you could do, and I went to Seagate's, uh, the Seagate brand, and I purchased a Seagate um, 7200 RPM 500 gigabyte drive, which at the time was the fastest drive available. I realize now that may have been a mistake. And got this thing, and it failed after about a month, and uh, that's a Seagate for you. I sent it back and they sent me a certified repaired one instead of a new one. Well, I don't want to trust my data, especially on road trips, to a certified repaired hard drive. It just seems that these things are so in inexpensive that it doesn't seem like it makes a lot of sense. So, just a note, this drive worked in the machine and it was very, very fast. Um, so I made this particular one that they shipped back to me just uh, a backup in my time machine, in my time capsule, in my homemade time capsule, I should say. Um, it's worked really well for that. So. The, uh, the problem then was to get a drive that works in this that was large enough to accommodate my data needs. So I took a risk and I read on a blog that someone was using a Western Digital, a newer Western Digital, and it was working for them. Yeah, I purchased that. That is a 640 gigabyte, oh, hang on a sec. That's a 640 gigabyte um, 5400 RPM drive. Purchased that in early December and put it in and yesterday, it's now uh, February 17th today, yesterday it failed. Well, I thought it failed. So here's the kicker. This morning I wake up, open the thing up and it comes up with a, instead of booting, there's just a folder with a question mark in the middle of it. So I figure, okay, drive definitely failed. So I pull the drive out and I go and purchase another drive. I get a 320 gigabyte Western Digital because I know those are probably uh, Time tested, mother approved, they seem to work really well, they're very reliable. Can't get it to initialize, can't get the computer to see it. So I'm back to square one where I was the day I bought the computer with drives not working. Now by the way, this is not an isolated incident with Western Digital because as you can see here, I've got Hitachis, I've got Fujitsus, I've got Toshibas. Not a single one of these drives will work in this machine. They will not initialize. The weird thing is, that that, or that 640 gigabyte drive that I thought had failed works just fine. If I put it in an external case, I can boot from it. And it works just fine on the MacBook Pro. It doesn't work from the internal SATA. In fact, what I'm doing right now is I'm doing a, uh, uh, a disk image, putting it on the 320, which is right here, and then I'm gonna take that 320 and uh, install it and see if I can get it to work. Because this is a brand new 320 that I couldn't get to initialize, so I'm hoping that by installing a direct disk, disk image from a drive I know that works, that I'll get lucky and this will work. I don't know. Has anybody run into this situation? Because right now, the only thing that's 100% reliable in this machine, and the drive that is in there right now, is the OEM 160 gigabyte hard drive. And that is actually a Hitachi hard drive with Apple branding on it. I cannot figure out for the life of me why none of these drives seem to function inside this computer. Um, my other two MacBook Pros work just fine with any drive I put in them. Uh, questions and comments, please. Uh, if anybody's had this problem, I would love to hear how you resolved it, because I can't work with 160 gigs. It's just, it's just not enough room. Thanks, guys and ladies. Bye.